Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mario Kart 64. Last time, we got started and completed the Mushroom Cup. And now, we are going to do the Flower Cup. Starring Luigi. And once again, we're going to be playing on 150cc. Starting off with Toad's Turnpike, the most infamous stage, one of the most infamous stages in the whole game. So I tried my best to start off as slow as possible because I didn't want to run into the heavy characters and then they end up taking damage on me. Because you know how heavy characters work in this game. Well, if you didn't, don't play as a light character and get a head start. At least when you're um, in 8th place. Especially when you're in 8th place. Do not head start. Otherwise, you might just run into Bowser's spiny back. Mario Kart 64, you can actually change um, the screen display. Uh, you can change the miles per hour, or you can just change it into this little square that you see on the screen, where you can actually see the characters coming towards you, or whatever. You can actually see exactly how close the characters are towards you. or how close they are. But anyways, you get the point. Personally, I just stick with the default screen because... I don't know. It looks more standard. I mean, I, I, I would do the whole square map, but it just feels so empty. It makes the whole screen look so empty. And I, there's really no point in the miles per hour. I mean, there's really no point in that. So anyways, uh, we're on lap 3, and we're doing pretty good so far. We have a big chance of winning unless these stupid cars stop us. But anyways, even the computer players get hit by the cars, so that gives us an advantage as well. In Mario Kart 8, they kind of made this stage better. I mean, not including the, uh, the extra stage gimmicks. They spaced out the stage a bit more. So that was pretty good. We win! That was close too. If we had ran into one of those um, delivery trucks or something, ugh, 18 reelers. And Peach was three seconds behind me, or was it four seconds? Uh, someone like that. So, uh, looks like we have our enemies, Peach and Wario. I'm so relieved that I got past that. But anyways, now it is time for Frap Snowland, or Frappe Snowland. I still don't know how that's pronounced. I don't think it's been officially confirmed by Nintendo what the stage is called, but then again, they never did actually pronounce the names of the Mario stages anyways. It was just up to us to figure out how to pronounce the names ourselves and go about our opinions. Now, the one thing that's stopping you in this whole stage as far as obstacles go, is, I mean, 
well, are the snowmen. Yes, snowmen hurt you just like a Super Mario 64. And that is very annoying. Especially when random snowmen are just in the middle of the road. We, and we come up to this part right here. Ooh, I, sh I probably should have... I should have braked. If I had braked, um, I w it would have stopped me from spinning around. It really does help. Braking really does help when you get into situations like that. And also, um, when you brake before uh, slipping and sliding, a musical note comes up, which means that you are safe. This trick can be used on banana pills at some points. There's Wario catching up with his rubber band AI technique. It's probably easy for him because he's so fat. But then again, who knows? Oh, and I'm pretty sure you guys know this, the Yoshi statue. Awesome Yoshi statue. Yeah, Wario needs to get out of my way. Peach, get out of my way. I'm taking first place, baby. First place is ours. Hmm. Looks like Toad moved down. So much for him. Anyways, let's continue on. And now we are in Choco Mountain, which is short for chocolate. This might be a little reminiscent of Super Mario World in some regard. I also like the music in uh, Chaco Mountain, although I don't really like the stage that much, because there is one part which is coming up right now. You might not be able to tell, but I am actually going up this hill. If I fall down to the left, I'll end up in 8th place, because... I'll have to turn around, and then I'll have to go through that slope again. Oh, and I just braked. That's what happens when you brake. It helps a lot. But anyways, that one slope can screw you up for the whole entire race. Even if you do try to clutch. I mean... Who knows if you'll be able to get first place. Which is why this stage is really not that good. I mean, if it wasn't for that one slope... If it wasn't for that one edge, that one hill... Uh, this stage would have been great. I mean, it would be better if... Lakitu could pick us back up and bring us back to the top, but no. Doesn't work like that. Oh, and there's also water. I just noticed that. But it's not too noticeable. Can we get Wario? Can we snipe him? He missed that banana pill. Can we get him? We can't get him. We'll just have to take second place. So oh, well. But hey, at least we beat Peach. I don't really care if Wario got first place or not. I mean, I don't, I don't really care if he got first place. He's tied up with Peach now. I'm still at first place, so even if I get fourth place, I'll still win. I mean, that... That 25 points is enough to beat Wario and Peach combined. So 
So here we are in Mario Circuit. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Not too much crazy stuff going on except for these weird 2D rendered looking piranha plants. They don't even look like they have actual lips. It looks like they're actual plants, actual killer plants. They don't even look like Venus flytraps. But then again, they never look like Venus flytraps ever. So what am I talking about? Uh, one word of advice. It always helps to press the item button uh, to help you select an item faster, to help you get an item faster, and may increase the chances of getting better items. Okay, we've got Toad and Donkey Kong. I will certainly don't care if they get first or second. Uh, Toad's gonna beat me. Oh, no. Yep. That's it. Actually, I just realized... I just realized, uh, that it would have been a horrible thing if Peach and Wario got first or second. That probably would have left me a second or third at the end. But hey, at least we got, at least we got first place. And that's all that matters. I like that. I like how they used the animation of the Mushroom Kingdom from Super Mario 64. I really like how they did that. I mean, you've got the Mushroom Kingdom here. So awesome. And here we've got another trophy that looks exactly the same. But who cares? I may have passed Flower Cup, but I think the worst is just to come. I will see you guys next time for the Star Cup. I'm a Luigi, number one.